All right, welcome to Acting for Animators, Breathing Life into Animation. The first thing to remember in acting is that your character is alive. And the way to truly make him alive is to think about his motivation. To give him real motivation just like any normal being. So you need to be able to put yourself into the position of your character. And ask yourself, what does he want and why? And this is key to your character's performance. Also remember to really act with the body and not just the face. So I'll give you just some examples of this. Um, for example, you can do an angry character, um, a bored character, you know, confident, relaxed, more scared, menacing. And if I move the face here, you should be able to tell what mood the character's in just by looking at the posture of the body. If you're only using um, the face, you know, to display a certain emotion, and you're not using all the tools at your disposal. Now, when you want to do facial expressions, uh, remember that the eyes are really the window to the soul. So, within the face, it's good to concentrate on the eyes. If you have a limited amount of time, this is saying always concentrate on the eyes, because that's where the audience will be looking. So really think about how you're posing uh, the eyes. And it's good to be also when you're doing eyes to be very subtle um, because humans are awfully um, sensitive to, you know, different um, looks in the eyes. And just tiny differences uh, in the eyes can make a huge difference to how you perceive the character's expression. Next, I want you to remind you of the K-I-S-S, which means keep it simple, stupid. There's a tendency among beginners in animation to just overload a simple shot with too many expressions and too many meanings, and uh, it just really ends up being a whole mess. It's a good idea to always communicate only one idea at a time. And this will really help you when you're making your poses to be able to make them absolutely clear. And also for the viewer to be able to read it so that you're only saying, you know, one thing at a time. And if you have a complex thing that you want to display and you just, you know, do it in sequence. And of course, this is extra important if you're not using uh, voices, you know, to communicate. If you're only using body language and facial language as well uh, to always only do one thing at a time. All right, next I want to talk about animating yourself using video as reference. And this is actually an indispensable tool for many people, but you might really think of it as cheating. Well, all there is to say is that animation is cheating. From the beginning, you're creating an illusion and uh, you can steal whatever you can from movies or real life. And that's what the professionals are doing as well. Always remember that they're also stealing with arms and legs and getting good ideas from other shows, looking back at other movies, and uh, obviously also recording themselves. So I recommend, you know, uh, getting up from the chair and acting out your scene yourself. It also helps you mentally, uh, you know, getting in character and thinking about what your character is doing. If you just get out and do it yourself, you'll discover lots of new things that you otherwise probably wouldn't have thought about. It also helps you to sort of remember to keep, you know, focus on the big picture because before you get into all the details of all the movements, of all the limbs and, and the arcs and the overlapping action and so on, you need to have the performance right from the beginning. So, you know, getting in character and performing it will help you get uh, a much easier starting point if you have the acting right from the beginning. 
then all the other details will be so much easier. And uh, you can really go back and ask yourself, you know, is this a good idea? You'll find out if things don't work much quicker than if you just go ahead and do them on the computer. Um, uh, it'll take you a lot of time. So just, you know, try it out and see if it works or doesn't work. And of course, the other advantage of using uh, video is that you can get reference for timing and poses right there. So, you know, just like you also, you'll sketch thumbnails uh, on paper, you can also use video to make sure your poses are exactly right and use them as a reference. Now here, I'm just going to give you just a few examples uh, of some shots from the movie Big Buck Bunny that I did. And I recorded uh, either myself or other people uh, doing short actions that just helped me not only mentally planning for the shot, but also just, you know, with the whole uh, idea of getting the timing right and uh, the poses right as well. All right, here's the first one. As you can see, I'm hitting a, a butterfly on a stone. All right. And here is the one in the movie itself. And you'll notice that they, they really you know, follow each other very closely. Here I'm throwing an apple at uh, Andreas from the team. And, uh, you know, it helped me get sort of inspiration. I also threw it at different other people to see how they react when you get an apple thrown at you. And uh, I used it as inspiration for this shot, uh, which was uh, a little bit hard. So I couldn't really figure out how to do it best. And here I'm running away again. Um, and again, you know, just trying out different things on video. And I selected the one I liked best and used that as a base for the animation. Um, juggling is a little bit hard to get the sort of juggling motions of the hands quite right. So uh, I just, you know, filmed... Uh, my friend Nathan, and because uh, he he could juggle, and uh, I used that for the end credits here. So you can see how video material has really helped me uh, perform these shots. There's also a last one uh, where the rabbit does sort of a thumbs up, and you can see I haven't you know just copied it straight. I've sort of exaggerated a little bit, and that's fine. Uh, the the video is just used as a base, and that's all. This should help you know where to start in character acting and also in using video material of yourself acting out your shots. Thanks.